we have seen how to add videos but often as teachers we want to share more than videos for example lecture notes or references or other documents like pdf zip files and so on so for this you can use the document type so that is what i'm going to select here you can give a title to this document let me call it some reference material and here is in case you want to upload some additional material like pdf or zip files or doc files whatever types of files you want to upload you can upload using this if you want to upload more than one file be sure to zip it and then upload the zip file so let's select some file here so here i want to upload some reference material let's say this is a tutorial on physical security and some side channel attacks so i'm going to save that and in addition to this let's say i also want to share some notes for that i can use this editor this is a very cool editor it has lot of functionality let's see some of it suppose i want to include a header which i want in bold i just need to click on b and between these stars you just need to type the text as you can see here what is appearing is the preview so that is controlled by this button you don't want the preview you can remove it but often times we like to watch what we are typing so that is the preview by the way this also tells you some of the shortcuts as well as uh, some references it has you may want to look it it's basically a help if i want italicized text same way i select this this is italicized text now if i want to go to the next i need to give an extra line and this is the next para if i want to use bullets list one again i have to click on a bullet list 2 so this is how you do bullets if you want an ordered list you can do ordered list 1 so let's see the preview and again click on it ordered list 2 notice that here it shows 1 1 but here in the preview it shows 1 this is how this editor is you want to add a link to some document you can do that too by clicking on this link button and here you can type in some url and and then enter this is how it does but as you can see in the preview this is how it looks when you click here it will take you to the idb bombay website one other very nice thing about this editor is you can add images to it as well so let me do that so that is the button here so here i'm going to upload an image so let me upload this image and then enter as you can see image got uploaded and it shows here the image is slightly small so if i want to increase the size there is a height button here you just need to make it 200 or if this is also not enough you can make it 300 so this way you can play around with the image size as well apart from images you can also include map so for that you need this so let me press that sorry you can do undo so let me go below and that let me put some map above the image so here is thing and i'm going to use some equation like this and again if you can see 
Here is some math that is appearing. You can also enter code blocks. So for that you can use this button. For this first you need to select a language. Let me select C and I am going to type some code and enter and as you can see it shows between these dash 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 C and here is the preview for that. So this is how a code block will look. So all in all the editor is quite rich. I will let you explore it further on your own. And once you are done making all these changes, be sure to save and a document is created. So when you click on it again, you can edit it further. So you can edit all this further. If you want to change the file that you have uploaded, you can change that file. Let me change it to crypto attacks. I can change that file and then save. Same thing, let's see how it looks in a student view. So here is the document. So I'm clicking here. As you can see, this is all what we have edited. This all shows. And here is the file that students can download. As you can see, it works well where we changed the file. 